Hello and welcome to the MEC Central Information Briefing. I'm Scott Davey. In this 15 minute video I'll cover the essential information on MEC Central from both a functional and a strategic perspective, plus I'll discuss the MAV development and rollout program for Victorian councils in 2011. MEC Central is used for municipal emergency response and recovery. This includes both large-scale natural disasters that require a multi-agency response and also smaller local incident response and recovery, or even planned events. MEC Central is suitable for both regional and metropolitan councils. MEC Central started in 2007 and has helped Alpine Shire Council in numerous emergencies and planned events. In 2011, it was selected by the MAV for its statewide IMS system. It was born from the vast experience of Alpine Shire in handling multiple emergencies. Alpine Shire have had MEC activations for large natural disasters, uh, multiple fires, floods, and a number of planned events as well. In 2006, MEC Central was not in use, but uh, this was where the seeds of the idea was formed. Under this scenario, the bushfire came so close that it affected their facilities and hence the need for a cloud-based solution has been developed. Many of you are familiar with the current MECBOOK, which is a uh, paper-based system used by councils. Some of you might have upgraded, so to speak, to an Excel spreadsheet form of MECBOOK, which also uses MECBOOK but keeps an electronic audit. Now, neither of these really cover on what you really need in managing incidents, which is a common operating picture and complete audit. MechCentral provides both. MechCentral was developed through 2007 into 2008, and the first version, MechCentral 1, was developed over four iterations with Alpine Shire, with close involvement from their, their Mech emergency team. This included all of their agencies, the, uh, the police, the, uh, uh, the ambulance, the SES, etc. MechCentral is multi-user and it is used by uh, council users for level one incidents, which are local council incidents, uh, through to multi-agency response and uh, even a statewide disaster. Following the initial development, uh, we had the opportunity, the unfortunate opportunity really, to, uh, to test Mech Central through the Black Saturday bushfires. Black Saturday, of course, was a, uh, a severe event and uh, tested all emergency services and uh, Mech Central came out trumps. At the end of the event, Alpine Shire could press a button and get a complete audit of all of the activities, all of the actions, all of the requests, and uh, have uh, it completely geocoded. And this was submitted for the Royal Commission. Other councils we've spoken to had to spend two months with a couple of people sifting through manual mech books trying to reconstruct logs. Datalink then proceeded to build Mech Central 2. Mech Central 2 has been around since mid-2010 and it has been used in most recently in the flooding that effect, affected much of Victoria. Mech Central 2 has been developed pr with primarily uh, data link funding and uh, with support from Alpine Shire and Mech Central 2 has been the recipient of the MAV tender award for uh, the IMS tender. Mech Central includes an incident manager a recovery CRM, agency logs, contacts and messages, reporting, and policies and documents. It's run through a cloud-based environment, which means there's no software to install, and all you need to do is have an internet connection from wherever you decide to set up your mech in order to use it. It's multi-user, and it provides a common operating picture across all agencies with strict workflow and security, but also with flexibility that you may need to handle things that you may typically pick up a pen and paper for. From a strategic perspective, MechCentral covers the, uh, the breadth of emergency management. 
In a preparation sense, you will use Mech Central to store your documents and your uh, policies, to be able to uh, work through your planning committees, to be able to store minutes even, and uh, discussion threads online, to maintain your emergency management uh, contact list. From a response perspective, Mech Central uh, is really focused on incident management, uh, whether it be a single agency or a multi-agency response, and it has uh, full audit, cloud-based virtual mech operations, uh, works on uh, mobile computing architecture, and then in a recovery sense, Mech Central has a recovery module that allows for the tracking of affected people, property, and infrastructure so that you can recover your municipality. From a timeline perspective, emergency management, uh, the response is the, uh, the focus of media activity, but it's the recovery that really takes the long time. And really what we're trying to do with Mech Central is to make it so that the recovery can begin at the time of impact rather than once the response has been completed. From a hierarchical perspective, there are different levels of incident. A local incident that may just involve the council can be handled through Mech Central in an informal way. And then as mechs get activated for local, local emergencies, uh, then formal rules can apply, multi-agency handovers and request tracking can apply. Then as they get larger, regional data sharing takes place. And with a large statewide incident, then there's also data sharing up as well as across. The old MacBook is here, and we're trying to replace the old MacBook with an electronic system that is common across all councils and that has continuous improvement. The system provides for a dashboard, as you just saw, plus an announcement facility so that you can activate your mech within minutes and alert all of the crews that will respond to the mech emergency. The system is inherently GIS capable, which allows every event and every case within the event to be tracked through a uh, geocoded facility. That can be synchronized into your GIS system and it can also read GIS encoded data from other systems that gives you a common operating picture so that it provides you with decision making abilities as well as audit abilities. The issue management facility contains a complete audit log of every action done by every, uh, every agent. It allows for assignment between agencies with a strict workflow and also it allows for flexibility where you can upload and attach media, documents and the like. The mapping facility not only allows you to read information from your council GIS system and export information out of that, but it also allows you to rapidly annotate the map using easy to use web based tools rather than wait for your GIS officer to respond. Data sharing across council boundaries is a very important aspect of Mech Central, especially when incidents span boundaries themselves. This also allows, in the event of a catastrophe with uh, internet connectivity within your mech, for you to be able to hand over your mech operations to your neighbouring mech where they can continue the incident with all of the available data and a common set of rules. The recovery CRM allows you to track people and property that have been affected through the incident and provide long-term support in helping them recover from the incident. This is all mapped and audit controlled as well, and it provides a rich set of data for you to filter and manage, including rapid impact assessments, all the way through to destruction of property, uh, affected people, and the like. All agencies get their workspace and logging mechanism. Agency logs allow them to, uh, to log every action they've taken while operating the mech, and that allows for easy audit ability and for uh, for reporting back to uh, Royal Commissions and the like. The document facility allows both formal upload of documentation that may be used, such as standard operating procedures, and also informal note-taking 
that uh, really, in essence, whenever somebody is going to pick up a pen and paper or walk over to a whiteboard, the Workspaces facility will allow that to be recorded securely with version control and shared appropriately. An important part of MechCentral is the tracking of costs incurred during response to an incident, and for that we have a cost recovery module. This allows agency resources to be tracked and, to be, uh, and the commitments to those resources tracked through the system, so we can find out who made the commitment, ensure there's sign-offs sign -offs by the Miro or whoever for that uh, commitment, and allow for a single view of the incident and the costs involved in the incident. Finally, there's a contact directory. The contact directory contains all of your EOC contacts and will provide during an incident whether they are on duty and online, and it will give you a ability to find out all the contact information within a single click from every audit log. MechCentral has functionality that covers the dashboarding, mapping, incident management, recovery management, workspaces, wikis, agency logs, messaging and contacts and reporting plus that's built on top of infrastructure and technology that runs in the cloud and is available with a very high level of redundancy and there is training and support to ensure that you make the most out of MechCentral. MechCentral is being constantly developed. Part of the aim of the MAV with the Victorian solution is to ensure that uh, there's continuous improvement built into the project and for that we've established a steering committee that's working through a large list of roadmap features to define a roadmap for the next five years. Currently we're at MechCentral 2.1. MechCentral 3 is being developed at the moment for the MAV and it's rolled out to all participating councils in November in time for the fire season. In financial year 13, MechCentral will be improved again through response to uh, actual data and through direction from the steering committee. And that will continue for five years. Currently, we're in the process of a pilot simulation and we're developing out uh, stronger multi-mech facilities, uh, plus we're scaling out infrastructure. In the end of November, the uh, system will be launched following the establishment of a service desk and online training programs in November. Now I'd like to make the point that MechCentral is not just for bushfires and floods, but also for incidents that can affect any municipality, whether they be road closures, or planned events, or any other sort of disaster, or even planning for a disaster. If ever you see your council on the news like this, then that will be when MechCentral is used for you. Just to return briefly to the MAVs project background, they have a key drivers for the project as uh, removing manual incident management because it's time consuming and inefficient, uh, creating a common system so that uh, there can be sharing between municipalities, and also streamlining of the organisational handling of incidents by having a single incident that has all of the common functionality and full audit capacities. In short, to implement a common emergency management system across councils that will provide ongoing improvement to the MEC operating environment. With that, I will uh, thank you for your time and there is another video that will show you an interactive demonstration of MEC Central.